my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. Now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. Arf. So dance good. Arf. No, no, it's not seasoned yet. Take some of these. No, there it is. That little pink plus sign is so unholy. Hey, if you like a girl, can you light her a cigarette with your pinky? Because that would be real classy. Hey, y'all might want to leave old boy alone. I just, I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you, because I was messed up for a long time, and I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Miss Stoger, my plastic surgeon doesn't want me doing any activity where balls fly at my nose. Well, there goes your social life. <laughs> but you never talk to me. You always talk to Peter. You don't like me. Hey, Anson. Hey. I just realized the funniest thing. My name is an anagram for I love. What's a, what's an anagram? Look it up, big boy. I wanted to know who was really sharing the bed of my ex-husband. What? Who knew what I would find there? How could I be sure you were not going to hurt me? After all, I have thoughts of killing you. There's one more thing. A terrible presence is in there with her. So much rage. So much betrayal. Of course I did. He's a really well-known photographer. He shoots for Elle on, like, a regular basis. It would have been so majorly stupid of me to turn him down. Nah, I can't be a lesbian because she's so unattractive. And she has a mustache and talks like some tiny little robot. Well, let me tell you something. She's my tiny little weird robot. Doesn't it suck how we can want to run from our families but impress them at the same time? <laughs> I just disappoint mine. I think the build-up to facing their disappointment is actually the worst part. And disappointment, I call it. Things that were. Things that are. And some things. That have not yet come to pass. Got any hot fudge? Yes. Yeah? Can I have a vanilla sundae with hot fudge? And uh, sprinkles. Rainbow, not chocolate. I know you do, and that's just the trouble. It's a mistake you always made, Doc, trying to love a wild thing. You were always lugging home wild things. Once it was a hawk with a broken wing, and another time it was a full-grown wildcat with a broken leg. I know it's New Year's Eve. I know you're feeling lonely, but you just can't show up here, tell me you love me, and expect that to make everything all right. It doesn't work this way. Well, how does it work? I don't know, but not this way. I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. I do everything to try and make you happy. I feed you, I clean you, I dress you, and what thanks do I get? Oh, you bought the wrong paper, Annie. I can't write on this paper, Annie. Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. Yeah, so don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? What about it? Why don't, you, why don't you look at yourself and write down what you say? Maybe you're afraid to. Should I tell you about your father? Boy, that's a tough one. Will it affect your decision to send him here, knowing that he is your father? If you don't send Kyle, you can never be. Sorry, the, uh, mic's not wor working. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch of Kafka's Motorbike, the greatest book of our time.